Welcome to this look at new mods on Farming Simulator 22 with me, Mr. Sealy P. It's Thursday, the 20th of January. This is the only mod we've got today. This is a mod pack, the Versatile Four Wheel Drive Pack by Julian F. Modding. Um, Versatile was one of the first companies to mass produce articulated four wheel drive tractors based out of Winnipeg in Manitoba in Canada. The company has been bought out more times, I mean, loads of times. I was, I was looking on the website at the um, at the timeline, and they've changed logo two or three times. They were sold to a company called Corner in the 70s. And in the 80s, I think it was Ford New Holland. Ford New Holland changed their name to just New Holland. Uh, they were then bought out by Beulah Industries, I think it is. I'm sure there was somewhere in there. Sold to Combine Factory, Russell Mash. It's yeah, they, and then they've gone through loads of different changes. But anyway, that being said, just thought I'd throw that in there. Um, we've got three variants in this pack. We've got a 2012 to 2016 version, 2017 to 2021 version, and a 2022 version. Um, what's different from this to the standard one we get in game? Well, there's a whole list in the actual description for this. Uh, what differentiates this mod from Giant's base game model? All three facelifts available. New terminal has been added. Uh, there's USA and Australia configurations. The Australia configuration has the oversize. What I like about this as well is it's like, um, I assume kind of like a plastic or canvas type thing. Like on with cables or bungee straps or whatever. It just looks really good. Um, more tyre configurations, spaces between the frame and the rim have been removed, um, GPS terminals added, old mirror model, optional cedar terminals, exhaust system has been revamped, remodelling of the hood on, on the 2012-2016 version, doors that can be open, I mean loads, so, so much more than the standard base game version. Um, 12 slots for the 2012-2016. 13 slots for the 2017 to 21 and 14 slots for the 2022 version. These are very nice looking tractors. There's not a huge amount of difference between these two. There are some subtle differences apparently. I was trying to look to see what they were. Um, the top speed has been a change as well. Um, from 35 kilometers now to 40 kilometers now. I'm pretty sure the standard in-game one, this goes up to 24 miles per hour if you're going with the uh, English version of things. Yeah, with a load of options. I'm hoping nothing goes wrong here. So, you'll find them under large tractors. If we have a look at the base game version, uh, that's 11 slots, so each one of these is a little bit more, but it's got a, a load more options on that. And I'm pretty sure that says 24 miles per hour. That's interesting then, because that's all I'm getting out of the ones I've got here, is 24 miles per hour. So I'm not sure about that one. Anyway, camera a bit further along, here they are. So it's 261 grand for the base model of the 2012-2016, 313 grand for the base model of the 2017-21, and 352 for the 2022 that's the standard price for the base game version that one on the end but the standard in-game version only has twin wheel options these all have single wheel options there's uh, under is it Trelleborg there's the narrow wheels which can go up to triples so there's a, a lot more options available we'll have a look at this one first so we've got Michelin Trelleborg Continental Midas BKT Stein and back again. Now under all of them, apart from Trelleborg, you've got a standard and a twin wheel option. Which looks like that. The difference between that and the Trelleborg is the Trelleborg starts off standard with the narrow. You've then got a twin wheel option and a triples option. With the Trelleborg, you don't have triples with any of the other options. If we go through and have a look at BKT for example, standard and twins, and back again so it will just be the tread patterns that change on those and we'll go back to Trelleborg we'll go to twins I don't just because I like it uh, so the US version looks like this with the indicator stalks and they will extend if you go for triples as well as you've probably just seen 
the Australian version has the oversized sex on the front. I don't think anything else changes on the Australia version. No, just the oversized on the front. Then we've got cab configurations. Now, this is going to be a little bit tricky to see, but we'll try and get to a position where we can see about there. So, cab configurations, no. We have carpet, so it's a rubber mat, then carpet. Cedar terminal, so it puts a cedar terminal up on the side with cabling or both. Then got foot rests, so you can have foot pegs on the side of the centre console. Foot rest and carpet, foot rest and terminals, or all. So carpet, foot rest, terminals, all in there. Attachable parts, we've got standard, and we've got a 1,800 kilogram front weight. On the back, a PTO, and then you can have both. So PTO, you notice the front dipped then. PTO with the front weight as well, if you should desire. Auto steer system, obviously this is a GPS system, which on console makes no difference, but it's there for the look. No, yes. On this one, it just puts the terminal in, but doesn't put anything, a GPS module on the uh, roof. That's, um, oh, who used to run it? Was it Cole the Cornstar used to run these? We'll see inside when we have a look at them when we drive them in a moment for the auto steer. Trimble, I think it's Trimble, auto steer. Uh, and then we've got engine size on this one, 470 horsepower, 521 horsepower, 574 horsepower is the highest this one will go up. Uh, and then license plate, we've got options on that. I just went for versatile because why not? So that's that one. The 2017 to 21. Same thing with the tyres on this. The trailer Borg has the standards, twins and triples. All the others have a standard and a twin. Slightly different sizes on some of them. As you can see. Depends what kind of... The amount of chunkiness you want in your tyre. Um, but like I say, standard or twins, all those. And the same thing again. I think, the, I think the configurations are the same on all three models from here. USA and Australia. Cab configurations the same. Carpet, seated terminals, both. Foot rests, carpet, terminals, and or all. Um, tactical parts, same. Front weight and PTO. Auto steer system. If you go for yes on this one, it puts the uh, GPS terminal on the roof as well. And then for engine on this, we've got 573 horsepower, 628 horsepower, 655 horsepower, and back again. So 655 is the highest this will go for horsepower, and then the option for number plate. Uh, and then we go on to the 2022 version. Same thing again with tyres. All the options are the same with wheel setups and tyres. US and Australia. Cab configurations are all the same as we go through. Uh, attachable parts standard weight pto or both this one puts a black weight underneath because of the design color um rather than the red one auto steer system again if you go for yes puts the gps unit on the roof engine sizes on this one go 583 638 and 665 so if you want an absolute beastie you want to go for this one well i mean they're all beasties let's be honest so we'll hop out so, like I say, I mean, look, I said the differences were subtle. Red underneath here, so if you go for the weight, it puts it red underneath. The latest paint scheme puts the black underneath as well. So you've got the lovely design across there, but black on the underneath, um, which has obviously got black and yellow steps. This one's got red steps. Um, let me try to think, really. There's no weights options on any of these. But they are lovely-looking tractors. Let's hop into the 2012-2016 start it up now we do have and uh l1 r1 left stick side to side we can swing the chair so you can swing it to the side so you can see over your shoulder a little bit better without looking around behind you and then right stick side to side opens and closes the left door that's the same on all three models Yeah, 24 miles now, it says. Tell you what, though, they do not hang about getting up to the top speed. Nice tight turning circle as well. Uh, lights. 
horn interior and like I said with the seat we're sitting straight at the moment L1, R1 and left stick side to side oh I'm going to have to change sort that mirror thing out and I've said this a few times on mod reviews uh, you might not have watched those so if you're having a problem with the flickering of mirrors if you go into your menu go to something like big bags where there are no options click on it until the big bag comes up then come back out the menu and your mirrors will be fixed so like I say, uh, we are sitting to the side at the moment, L1, R1, left stick for that, and then right stick will open and close the door. But what's nice on these, each one's the same, I say the same, there are subtle differences. If we turn the engine off, we've got the startup screens. I like that, that's pretty cool. And realistically, um, the options for moving the seat and stuff are the same on each one. There's not a huge amount of difference in sound. Versatile have been running Cummins power plants for the last 50 years, I think, in their models. 90, yeah, since, well, 1966 was when they started out. I'm sure it said on their website 50 years. So interior with this, we'll do the same thing, engine off. That's cool. I think it was the 2022 version I went for... I think I went for the GPS on it, yeah. So that will show, I'm pretty sure it's Trimble that comes up on the screen. So, engine off. So, so I've gone for the GPS, so we've got the Cedar option on there as well and all the various different screens for doing that and start it up. Yeah, Trimble, there you go. Very cool indeed, and like I say, if you can swing your seat to the side so you can keep an eye on everything while you're going. Quick glance ahead, not too difficult to glance behind without putting your back out. Very nice mods with a load of options on those. They look great, sound great. And that's it for today. We'll see what we get tomorrow on Friday. Um, I hope you found this useful and informative in some way, shape or form. Uh, those are by Julian F. Modding. Did I say how much it was to download? 29.68 megabytes to download for those three. Um, if you have found it useful and informative in some way, shape or form, please give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do. Thanks for watching.